Hi friends. So today I'm singing the song He Knows by Shauna Edwards. If you've heard me sing, you know I'm a big fan of hers. And this song talks about that Jesus knows how we feel. I first got to know this song during 2020 and the height of the pandemic. Well, we're still in it. But when when we were all quarantined and nobody was seeing each other and it was a new thing, so we were all really scared of it, right? And we were all handling it in our own ways. And she um, put out a video with this song that really, really touched me. But, you know, times have changed. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of used to us being in a pandemic. That's a sad thing to be used to. But, you know, while pandemics might go away, other problems don't. We all, you know, all of us have problems in our lives, right? We all have different things. We all have our big struggles that we go through. And, <coughs> and I was reminded today from one of my good friends at church of this saying that, you know, to be kind because every person you meet is uh, facing their own battle. And we don't know, looking at each other, we don't know what battles each other is facing. We just don't. But there is one person who does know, and that's Jesus. But for me, it feels a little bit cliche to just say, well, Jesus knows how you feel, and to move on from that. Um, because honestly, sometimes in my life, I'm not 100% sure. You know, I have to remind myself that in the scriptures, it does say that Jesus um, bled from every pore in Gethsemane, that Jesus suffered not just for our sins, but he suffered for all of our illnesses, all of our heartaches, all of our disappointments, all of our hard times, our battles that we're going through, Jesus felt those and he felt them very individually because we suffer individually. And so he does know exactly how we feel and how to comfort us. But um, I think it takes an act of faith on our part to trust him, to believe him, that he really will um, come to us and help us and help us get through the hard times, to trust him that he will actually stay with us through the hard time, through all of the hard time, that he won't abandon us and leave us to fend for ourselves. And quite honestly, there are a lot of times when I just figure I'm a tough woman. I can fend for myself. I can, you know, solve my own problems and get myself through these things. And for me, it takes, oftentimes it takes an act of faith to trust Jesus, that he knows how I feel and to let him comfort me. You know, instead of, you know, being like, oh, I got this. It's fine to Jesus. You know, telling him, no, really, I do want you to come in and comfort me like nobody else can. And then to have faith that he really will follow through on his word and do that for us. But my testimony is that I know that when we exhibit that faith, when we decide to stop relying on our own strength and our own might to get through things, you know, he doesn't expect us to stop trying. He doesn't expect us to just sit back and, you know, not do anything. We still have to, like, be doing the best we can to work through it. But I do know that the minute we stop trying to do it all ourselves, the minute we invite him in and ask him to come in and comfort us and be with us and give us whatever we need, to get through our individual battle at that moment, I know that he does and he always will. 
Mm. So he knows. <coughs> Jesus loves you today and every day. <laughs>